luck into my channel it is the prize saturday which means we are going to be doing some unboxings so for today's one we have if i can get it some rainbow high accessories so these here um i believe smith stores was toy stores were having a clear out and they had a bunch of these here down to i think it was two or three pounds so i grabbed the handbags but i think there's one or two shoes so yeah there is three handbags and two pairs of shoes to open up and i thought the shoes probably won't grow to fit any of the, my dolls but maybe the handbags might be fun um so because i know uh, rainbow high can be a bit bigger than like the barbie and disney and all but i thought maybe the handbags might be cute so i grabbed a couple um, but i did grab some of the shoes just for the curiosity because they were on sale so yeah i thought we could open them together and see what there is okay so i brought you a little bit closer just to see if that does any good let me just get my exact device there we go yes i need it uh so let's start with the handbag at the front and before i remove it i'll just show you these are the handbags you can get very very cute so i do really want to eventually get the mini brands um accessory pack i think they do like the handbags and they always look amazing so i would absolutely love to be able to do those eventually but um and i will get my hands on them eventually just i haven't got mine to yet at the moment it's christmas and all my money is going towards presents as opposed to uh, you know <laughs> other things for myself there we go Okay, it's very pretty, I must say. The boxes are very, very pretty. So these are Rainbow High Mini Accessory Studios. Um, so there we go. And I think they only really did like the one series of this. So that's very high end. Like here we have this. I'm not sure what this is. Um, but I'll just see that. So that's quite cute. Oh, I think that's like your receipt they have. And then you pull this out. Okay. And oh, <laughs> Oh, I love this. That is such a pretty box. That'd be like really nice for like, displaying things in. That's so cute. Okay, what do we have? Oh, to drop it. Okay, we have the handbag. Look at that. That is really pretty. There it is. It's kind of like on a faded blue look and then black print it. the edges and then it's Velcro on the inside. So yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> but it is gorgeous i must say and the handle itself is made of plastic but the rest of it is all fabric that's really pretty and i guess you could like have it displayed like that inside if you want it oh, if it will let me let me see if i can do this <laughs> if it doesn't fall let's see can we do this or is it gonna fall so i sat down yep <laughs> okay there we go got it and it also comes with its own bag. So you know whenever you get from like high-end brands, they usually come with bags. As someone who doesn't buy from high-end brands, brands, I don't own the bags, but I do know about it. I have friends and all who do. So that's cool. It comes with its own bag. And I guess let's have a nosy and see what is else, else is in here. So this must be the checkered list. The artwork is gorgeous. So we have our character here doing a lot of shopping and then these are the bags that you can get so i got so let me just do a quick scroll around so i got let me say my bag is called a gabriella isley uh i know that i imagine that they're kind of like sort of tongue-in-cheek sort of referencing other brands but i as someone who doesn't you know <laughs> Black brands or anything like that I have no idea who it means and these are the shoes like how amazing are some of these shoes so yeah and again gorgeous gorgeous picture so there we go so I'll keep that out so I can reference it in future and let's see what was this thing that was stuck to the inside I also love how the wrapping even the sticker has a little R on it I think that's so boozy. <laughs> so I'll just do all this with the first one and then that way I can just get it go on with the rest of them and not have to do it with them. I think I can't imagine I really need to do it with the rest of them but so I assume whenever you buy high-end stuff 
your receipt must come in like a fancy little pocket thing again i don't buy high-end stuff so i have no idea but you get, if any of these do let me know if you buy anything high-end do you get a little pocket sleeve for your receipt <laughs> as very fancy and it also comes with a certificate which unfortunately is ripped I don't know if it's meant to be ripped um but a certificate of glam so yeah so I'll just show up for that one and I'll not bother with the rest of them showing you because I imagine they'll all be very similar so this one has a gorgeous purple I'm glad I grabbed different colors now because I definitely want to keep these and try and do a display and I imagine it's just yeah the same bag so let's see if I can Let's there we go. Okay. So let's open this one up. This time, oh, I think this actually meant to be a sticker. Oops, we just ripped it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. And again, it's just got the same stuff inside it, so I'm not gonna take any of that out. But let's see. Oh, sorry, I just hit the stand. Let's put this one out. Gorgeous purple. And this one, the bag is, well, the bag that the bag comes in is like a purpley pink colour. So it's quite pretty. So I'll leave that up there. And the bag itself, let's see. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, well, actually, mm, I like the colour, but I don't like all of the um, dollar signs. I think that's kind of. I don't know. I feel like things that have like dollar signs, all of them are kind of, they don't look the nicest to me. It's not really for me. If it wasn't, if it didn't have these, I would have loved this bag. But unfortunately it does. And they've got like a little ribbon along that. And again, I think, I imagine it's just Velcro. Yeah. I mean, they do open up and it is cute. And from far away, you can't really tell that there's dollar signs all over it. But yeah, it's a shame that they stuck those all over it. Because if they didn't, I would have absolutely loved it if they just kept it clean. See, now I've done this, I'm going to have to do the mini brands. So I am. Because um, I feel like they're probably better quality. As I said, I haven't opened them yet. So I don't know if they are not. But from what I've seen online, they do appear to be better quality. So this one is the Bella Parker. As you can see there. So there's that one. So there is that. So now on to the shoes. Let's do some shoes now. And there's just an example of what you can get. See, it says Series 1 on all of them, but I don't think they ever came out with another one. To be honest, I, from what I've heard, Rainbow High isn't doing too well at the moment. This is a shame, but I don't collect them, so I don't know a lot about it, but... A lot of the like doll YouTubers that I follow uh, discuss them alongside their other dolls, so I do hear about them. The I must say the boxes are very, very pretty. So let's take off the sticker. Oh, so this is a shadow high. Okay, so that's quite cool. I kind of I'll, I'll be honest. I if I was to collect um another doll line, I would be very tempted with shadow high. But um anyway, I think. It's very pretty. I imagine it's just the same thing, you know, it's shoes, where it, the fancy receipt and then just the checklist. And here we go. We'll pop the box up there. And this time, obviously, because they're shoes, not handbags, it comes in a box. This is very shiny. It says Shadow High Accessory Studio. And it also comes with a bag. I'm going to have lots of these bags, so I'm going to know what to do with them. And then these are going to be the shoes. Okay. Alright. Not bad looking. Okay, here they are. So they're got fabric. They've got quite the shimmer to them. And I've got a belt. And it's all fabric except for the heels themselves. They're nice. Obviously they're quite big. So not, I don't think any of the dolls I collect, these will fit. Um, which I knew when I bought them that that was probably what's going to happen and I'm not going to be able to use them but I just thought I'd get them anyway because they were on sale just to get a, a look at just what the quality is like and you can actually oh you can actually remove the belt if you want um there is velcro on the belt so if you wish to remove it or 
um, you know, maybe it's too tight when you're putting it around the doll, you can do that. So those are the shoes. Here's the other pair of shoes. So these are the rainbow high shoes. I hadn't realised that I'd actually gotten a pair of shadow high and a pair of rainbow highs. That's quite cool. Um, but yeah, let's do the rainbow high now. I'd love to see what the shadow high handbags would look like. I feel like they would have been really cool. But anyway, let's try and get these here. And then I'll look and see if I can see them on the checklist. Let's try this one first. This is the rainbow high version of the shoes. So this one's a nice shiny green. Let's open it up. Okay, so it's a lovely green colour. Pop it there. And then there's what the box looks like. It's pretty much just the same as the other the Shadow High box that says Rainbow High. And this one again has a little thing there. I shall pop there with the rest of them. And oh, this one's very tightly packaged. Let's see if I can open it without ripping. Okay, so these are the big green ones. So these give off more shadow high than rainbow high, in my opinion. Because I feel like is a shadow high meant to be more like more gothic kind of style. But I could be wrong. <laughs> like I said, I don't collect them, so I'm not really an expert. But here they are. They're cute. Not really my style, but they're nice. And they definitely go with the box. So I wonder if that means that the box kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting, considering that all that was green. Let me see if I can find the two shoes that I got. I would have absolutely loved those rainbow high ones. Look at those. Are they gorgeous? But what I got was the Jade Hunter. And I don't know if it shows you the Shadow High. Does it? Oh, it does. Yes. Yeah. So Shadow High doesn't have a name for this one. But yeah, beside the... um, oh, Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod beside the gorgeous ones that i would have loved it shows you them once that's what the ones that we got so yeah that's cute okay so i have one more to get and it's another handbag so if i could choose the handbag which one would i pick there's actually three of the one i don't like which has the dollar size on it so i'm not liking that so that means i'm more likely to get that maybe one of the purple ones i love my purple so maybe one of those purple ones would be quite nice. I don't know. There's a lot of few. There's a few nice ones. And there's a few that I'm not as fussed on. But let's see which one I get. Hopefully it's one of the ones that I actually like. So let's open it up. And let's see. Okay, so we have a nice red box. And a red thing. I wonder if this means that the the thing is going to be red. So I wonder if this means that the boxes themselves actually give you an idea of what you're getting. So it isn't actually a surprise. Which, if that's the case, that's really cool because this is obviously red to go with everything else. This is probably my one of my least favourites I could have would have got. Uh, which is a wee bum bag or fanny pack, whichever you prefer to call it. It's neat to me. Although, detail-wise, it's amazing. Like, that doesn't actually work, but I, I like it. They've made it look like it does. And does it actually sip? It does actually sip. There you go, it actually opens. And yes, yeah, it's a sparkle on it. So yeah, my lace here are with all the bags. But I wonder if this means that you could have actually picked what you wanted, depending on what colour you picked up. That's quite interesting. Because uh, they seem to all match the colour boxes that they came in. So I wonder if that means you could actually choose what you want. As long as you made sure to pick one that's a you know the right color um but anyway i haven't seen these since the first series came out so i'm assuming that they only have done one and that's probably it especially when they have many brands to compete against um who are doing a fantastic job where um for i'm not sure what the price was for these um when they were full price because obviously i got them on sale um but when you can get mini brands for I think it's like a tenner and you get um the bag and some accessories and I think with the old ones you got a sticker whereas the new ones you get something else but I can't remember what they replaced the sticker with but yeah you get a lot more with the mini brands and details as well are fantastic um these they're nice 
they are nice um but and definitely the handbags i will probably use in dolls i well mine is this one i don't think i'll use that for my dolls it's not really my style um the shoes i might see if i have someone who i know that does collect rainbow high maybe they can have the shoes and get some use out of them um but yeah i think these are all really really cute and i did enjoy opening them and i think my dolls will appreciate at the very least this one here i think this one is probably my favorite out of the bunch it is gorgeous uh, i think it's because it doesn't have any it doesn't have any logos or anything on it none of that it's just nice and a simple bag um so that's quite nice that's why i like it but anyway let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite out of the bunch what you think about um the rainbow high um their attempt at sort of blind bags um and also yeah <laughs> if you enjoyed this please be sure to like and if you would like to see more please be sure to subscribe and i will see you next time bye